Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Valentino Rossi the game Moto GP 16. Now in today's episode we're in Japan for the championship race and things are hotting up. We can't afford to let anything slip and we need to get another good result in today's episode but we haven't managed to get a good result around this Japan circuit in ages so this is going to be so so tough so we're going to get straight into qualifying and hope to put on a performance. Right, so here we go in another lap. Now, we've crashed off three times already, so that's not a good start. Now, I've said to you at the start of the video, this is one circuit I haven't managed to win on in a long, long time because it's so difficult. It's actually one of the most challenging circuits on the tour by far, and it had to be in Japan, didn't it? So they love their technical stuff. Right, let's try and gas it around this corner. Oh, there you go again. Third time lucky. Oh, this is going to be a difficult one today, guys. Right, we really need to improve on that 19th place. Oh my God, over a second behind already at the first split time. Oh, what is going wrong? We just can't find the pace in a game. We lost it in that corner. Oh, don't come off. Oh, this is just not going right. We need to improve on that 19th position. We can't go into the race in that position. We're just, we're not going to be able to challenge. I knew there was going to be a couple of races that we might drop a few points on, but uh, we're not even going to get on the podium if we start in 19th, and we are behind even further. Don't come off. Just not finding this one very, very easy. Very, oh, no, not again. Oh, you absolute twat. Right, we're going to have to start again. Um, I don't think it's actually, oh, God, it's got, just got smacked already as we come onto the circuit. No, I don't think it's anything to do with the setup. I just think this circuit is just so difficult. You have to get your corner in spot on. And, uh, oh, God, not again. <laughs> oh, my God, this is painful. Really am not finding any pace on this circuit. And I'm really starting to wonder how I'm manage going to manage three laps in a race without coming off. Because I just haven't managed to get many clean laps in the session at all. Oh, that's an improvement. Only 0.6 behind at that split time, but still over half a second behind. I just don't know where I can actually find any speed on this circuit. Um, normally, you can find some areas where the, you're slightly quicker than the AI, but I haven't managed to, managed to find any just yet. And, oh God, the time's still about the same at that second split time. So um, if we can finish with that, that uh, time, we might be able to get a better place on the board. Really struggling really finding it hard to uh, put uh, the power on and tap the power on sorry out of the corners this is so unstable it's just it's just very very challenging so we're gonna have to try and take it nicely and gentle towards the end of the circuit we're probably gonna lose a bit of time at this third split time I expect and over it have we oh god not too much still just under a second behind this could be our best time if we can just get through this last section. Now, this corner here is the most challenging corner on the circuit by far. Even the AI have gone off into the gravel uh, um, on that uh, point, not just in this qualifying session, but if you remember in my Moto3 race, I think they were going off uh, that section in the race. So that's something to be aware of. Right, just push it to the line. Can we get a better time than 19th, please, please? Oh, we get 11th. Oh, God, that's better. So we got to the end of qualifying, guys, and our time actually dropped down to 13th in the end. We couldn't improve on it. And this is probably one of the worst qualifying that we've had in this Moto2 series. But we're just going to have to take it, guys. I cannot see us getting a very good position, but I'm going to try my best. So let's get into it straight away, guys. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the Japanese Grand Prix. The images you're seeing on your screens are coming to you live from the Mategi circuit where the 15th Moto2 race of the year is about to begin. As you can tell from the live pictures we're bringing you, it's going to be fine weather for the race. Riders have taken up their positions on the starting grid at Mategi. Having to face one of the most demanding Grand Prix on the entire calendar. I totally agree with him. It is the most challenging. Right, guys, here we go with the Japanese GP. 
we're just gonna have to be on it around this Mategi circuit and I'm just gonna be really I'm just going to go for it, guys. I'm going to take every little risk, and I'm just going to try and mug everyone in the corner. So here we go for the first corner. Can we do it? Oh, God. Conte into the first corner. Managed to stay on the bike and managed to take a few riders. Now, we're going to have to try and do that throughout the whole race. That's the only way we can try and bump up the order. And we've already managed to take a six bikes already, so that's an awesome start already. Can we take a few more? And again, okay, got into there really hard. Just made contact with my teammate in Zarco. Being so, so aggressive. This is probably not going to end well. And we're on to the grass and we've just managed to hold that and we're up to p4 god dear what a start to this gp but we know we don't hold the speed and look all three of them three riders going around me in that corner but just managed to hold firm and we still got p5 now i've got to try and take him back in this corner i've just got to be as Oh God, onto the cross, nice and aggressive as we can, but try and not overdo it because I want to stay on the bike. If we make a really, really silly error, then this race could be over very, very soon. Now we haven't crashed out at all in this uh, series yet, but there's always a first time for everything. But um, I definitely don't hold the pace around this circuit. Now we only managed to get uh, a 154.9, I think, in qualifying. I'm not sure what sort of times they're going to be running in this race, but if we can get anywhere near that, that will be okay. And a goal onto the curb there. Not a great corner there, and that's going to cost us a bit of time. And three of them, oh, the three riders leading the race have just managed to pull away, and we've got to get ahead of Zarco. If we can get ahead of Zarco and hold that position, at least we can just stay ahead of him in the points. Oh, God, really tight into that corner. Now, we, I've seen a few people crash off in that corner in the race and in qualifying. Hopefully, that will happen in this race as well and we're getting towards the end of the first lap all bit of contact by my teammate on my back wheel there you better hold firm got you're supposed to be a uh, part of this team not against me right over the finish line and we're in p4 now if i can just push it a little bit more and get a podium in this race after starting in 13th that would be awesome and we couldn't take advantage of that error there uh, one of the riders went really wide in that corner but I just don't carry the speed into those corners and I couldn't take advantage right slow it down into this corner let's try and take a few places they seem to be slow into these slow corners and this is where I've got to try and make up the time really trying to put on the power there and again that's just sent me out wide and we've lost pace again but if I can stay in fourth position, I would take that all day long, guys. After a really bad qualifying, all the frustration. And again, we've lost it in that corner again. And we've just lost a place. And we're back into P5. But can I fight back? Definitely hold the spin in that corner onto the grass. Hold the speed, slow it down, slow it down. Don't lose it into the next corner. We definitely have a good pace through that, corner, that last corner. But we're just into the slow corners. We seem to just go out a little bit wider. Right, let's slow it down into this corner. Can we take a few in this corner? Onto the curb. Oh, my God. We managed to get past all of them, but we couldn't hold it. See, I'm taking risks, but it's a bit of a stupid risk, really, because I don't think I can hold this. Oh, God. Contact with Sam Lowe's. And we managed to get ahead of him there. But again, we're not going to be able to hold it. And I think all three of them are probably going to go past me in this next corner. But I'm trying to hold. Oh, God. We're in first place. Can we hold it into this corner? No. Nope. I didn't think I would. Let's try and slow it down. Turn it in. Oh, my God. Sam Lowe's has gone off. Sam Lowe's has put it in the gravel. I said the AI don't like that corner. And they've and one of them has crashed out. And that's worked in our favour. Right, we've just got to get through the chicane. And my teammate and a few others are coming around. Come on, be a part of the team. Let me win it. Please, I'm leading the championship. You're not. God, dear. I thought it was going to take me off there. Right, we go with the finish line. Now we've got one more lap. Can we hold on to this? I cannot believe I'm in the lead. After starting in 13th. No, my teammates take me. What the hell are you doing? Let me go past. Let me get maximum points. And this is going to be a fight between the team. But as long as he doesn't knock me off, I don't mind him winning. And I'm coming second and still be on the podium and we try to get up the inside oh god this is this is going to be a fight uh, between the two teammates oh god contact with the back of the bike as well he's having a bit of argy bargy here he doesn't just want to win he wants to take me out as well that's not going to be fair but uh that's if we can slow it down oh god four riders five oh my god almost got totally blitzed off there and more contact as long as one of them's not Zarko, I've got to stay ahead of Zarko because uh, we want to carry on in this championship. Let's see if we can just keep with my teammate. Bloody hell, I can't believe how many are just flying past me in that last corner, but I've managed to regain the lead. This has been an absolute fly on this circuit. The best I've ever driven around this circuit. 
on any game. I have never had success around this circuit and I do believe the lap time on that last lap was actually faster than the qualifying time. So I can't believe where that's come from. I, I think the qualifying times were 154s and I think the last lap was a 153. So this race is so much quicker than qualifying. I just couldn't find this sort of pace in the race, but does it matter? We're coming up to the final corners. Can I win it here? But I think my teammate's gonna have something to say about that. Oh God, really lost the, in that corner. Can I take it back? Yes, I take the lead, but can I turn it in? Oh no, my teammate's taking me there. It looks like we might have to settle for second place unless we can get him in that last corner. Slow it down. Oh my God, this is gonna be close up the inside onto the curb. And I've got in front, but can it hold it to the line? Oh my God, another last corner win. Is it gonna be possible? Here we go. Yes, across the line, we get a win in Japan, round Mateki, for the first time in absolute years. I cannot believe that, but there you go, guys. What an unbelievable comeback, guys, from 13th place. And we managed to hit a 153.3, which was about the fastest time in qualifying. We've upped our level from somewhere. We didn't have the pace in qualifying, but we did it in the race, and that's all that matters. There was so much contact in that race. We took so many risks, but sometimes you've got to do that to become a champion. And look, guys, we're managing to pull away, and we're just going to get in because we're getting close towards the end, and I want to see what's coming next in this Moto2 series. Right, guys, we've been offered some more contracts, but like I said uh, a couple of videos ago, we're not going to change the team. We're quite happy to stay with this team. We have tried a few other teams, and uh, I don't think it's worth it for the remaining season. So I think we're going to stick with the team. But I also want you to check the standings to see what we're going to be up against when we go to the Moto2 series and see who's leading the championship. So let's have a look. So in the MotoGP series, Mark Marquez is flying away, with Valentino Rossi only third. Mm, that's about right, I'd say. And let's have a look in the Moto3. Let's see who is winning that. Oh, no surprise, Navarro with uh, Binder in second. And, uh, of course, we're leading the Moto2. And looking at the points, if we can get a win in the next race, we could take the championship. You never know, guys. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this series. And I will see you soon for the next race coming very soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.